In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Regina Celli, Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia, for he whom you did merit to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia. Pray for us to God, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia, for the Lord is truly risen, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world through the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Horatio Imperata on the Threat from COVID-19 God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Together with our personal intentions, let us likewise include the following. Gregorian for the souls of Hermenihildo, Rufina, Casciano, Father Januario, Camilo, Teofilo, Zenon Sr., Mario Bonifacia, Pablo, Basilisa, Arsenio, Socorro, Alejandro, Teodora, Adriano, Filomena, Panfilo, Clotilde, Rufino, Rufina, Loreto, Marcela, Sister Julia, and Sinforoso. Teofilo, Casilda, Remedios, Pablo, Juanita, Maria, Jose, Rosario, Celestino, Teofilo Jr., Concepcion, Vicente, Mario, Maricar, Jose, and Carmen. First day novena for the soul of Ernesto. First day novena for the soul of Romeo on his second death anniversary. First day novena for the soul of Father Serio on his death anniversary. Second day novena for the soul of Romeo on his second death anniversary. Second day novena for the eternal repose of the soul of Feliciano on his 40th day. Fourth day novena for the souls of Rodrigo Ildefonso Jr., Reverend Father Gregorio OSM, Philemon Sr., Generosa, Joseph, Rodolfo, Carmelita, and all souls in purgatory. Fifth day novena for the soul of Carmelita. For the death anniversary of Maricar and for the souls of Vicente, Mario, Jose, Carmen, and all souls in purgatory. For the eternal repose of the soul of Sheila. For the eternal repose of the souls of Father Adolfo Nicolas, SJ, former Superior General of the Jesuits, Father Venacio Col Calpotura, SJ, on, the, on his 15th year death anniversary, Father Frederick Fermin, OP, Richie Fernando, 
for the death anniversary of Danilo, for the souls of Incognita, Ignacio, Isabelita, Marcelino, Cynthia, Lisa, Remejio, Leonar Leonrada, Kurt Silver, Luz Vimindo, Bianca Jane, Flora, Rodolfo Sr., Ramon Jr., Teofilo, Sixto, Basilio, Rosalia, Christopher, Rizalina, Mike, Victorino Sr., Restituto Jr., Lucrecia, Jason, Remundo Sr., Lourdes, Teofilo, Innocentia, Dominga, Eduarda, Catalino, Pedro, Jaime, Teofila, Rolando, Ro Rosary, Diosdada, Estelito, Eduardo, Artemio, Claudio, Leonila, Bienvenida, Lenny, Jose, Escolastica, Ramera, Francisca, Patrocenia, Teresita, Eduardo, Emerenciana, Roque Sr., Danilo, Delfina, Malin, Maura, Florentino, Emiliano Jr., Leonardo, Genaro, Carmelita, Elmer, George, Aurora, Angel, Carmelito Sr., Perpetua, Roberto Sr., Mardonio, Teodorico, Cristanta, Rafael, Apolonio Sr., Fidelia, Laureano, Epifania, Maxima, and all souls in purgatory. Thanksgiving Mass for the 31st wedding anniversary, for the birthday of Lizel Cayanong, for all the graces and blessings received, for the birthday of Benny, Ra Raja, and Violet Lynn, for good health, graces, and all the blessings received, in honor to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, Senior Santo Nino, Mother of Perpetual Help, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Saints Peter and Paul, Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, and all saints and angels in heaven. Our offerers, Christina Maglasang and Children, Children of the Late Feliciano Garces, Rita Bernal, Dodong and Marion, Mr. and Mrs. Sherwin Malaki and Family, Heneston Family, Raymond Yap and Children, Edna Sumayang, Diosdado Salwagi and Family, Cecilia Cayanong, Pasturan Family, Arcamo Family, Delino Celo, Maceda Family, Tomada Family, Leonora Ikong, Anna Mary Balani, Tan and Lumapas Family, Mr. and Mrs. Dennis Pilapil, George Osmeña and Family, Marilu and Children, Aldren Toralba, Marilyn Enriquez and Family, Tampos Family, Maria Cecilia Fe Cabahog and Family, Rogel and Mary Phil Elisan, Marie Arcabado and Family, Joel, Mary Ann, Edna, Marith and Boboy Apuya, Emma Apilar, Joe and Jenny Pilapil, Mary Jane Villas, Sonia Padios and Children, Satur, Gisma and Radam Family and Anonymous Donor. Ato usabi apil sa atong pagampo ang atong online mass intentions nga gihalad nila Sao Serp Angel, Maan Maglasang, Mapia Gracia Gonzales Itang, Marilu Imas Juanilio, Herbert Tugunon, Jenjen Salanap Tumanda, Filipina Laurente Pagaran, Mary Lenny Maga, Jem Gaspang, Froila V, Marivic Sakay, Alexius County Huntilia, Ara Sital Corde Cordilio, Rose Vitor, Philip Salazar, Verna Pastor Caballero, Romeo Leong, Joel Gakit, Lolita Hamito, Mika Batas Enero, Nikki Sim Lianas, Pauline Tumampo, Lilia Hortelano Ovales, Christine Palacio, Melodina Diaz, Anabella Agnes, Lani Lungakit, Ivy Fernandez Maniago, Norman Hodilia, Gwendolyn Kataag Barroza, Marilu Coste Villasan Budlong, Lucita Perez, Jerry Tagalog, Jessel Chasmonte Estomata, Lalaine Coste, Luz Veminda Apolinar Suliano, K. Omega Suarez, Fe Camaliare, Janet Chong, Clarissa Luz Kaidik, Clay Cabaron Floreza, Jackie Condinato, Lynn Babaylan, Maria Fatima Coraje Isidor, Lani Balondo, Ismaela Lim Pacot Espina, Maura Labiste, Marilyn Sakai, Janet Chong, Mayesh, Assorted Fashion Stuff. Thank you and once again, good morning.
Sound check, hey. Check, check.
hapon Awitan ng Panginoon Sa piging sariwain Pagliligtas niya sa akin Sa piging sariwain Pagliligtas niya sa atin In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Almighty God of mercy in us, forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, grant we pray that we may per perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them, and because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked, for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath, he entered into discussions in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord, along with his entire household, and many of the Corinthians who heard, believed, and were baptized. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord has revealed the nations His saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. 
All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. And because I am going to the Father, so they said, What is this little while of which he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him. So he said to them, Are you discussing with one another what I said a little while and you will not see me? And again a little while and you will see me? Amen, amen, I say to you, you will meet you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grave but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We are now in Thursday of the sixth week of Easter. And our gospel today speaks to us about our Lord Jesus Christ that said to his disciples that little while he will see me and you little while you will not see me. And this gospel also proved to us about the reality of sufferings in the lives of his apostles or even to his disciples and to us his followers so the question is if God is good how come we have these sufferings if all things ang imbuhat sa ginoo puro maayo apan nga naman nga naamay pag sakripisyo nga naman anaay mga kalisdanan sa atong kinabuhi. So what is really the reality of these sufferings or the theology behind of these sufferings? And based on my research, no doubt, that Catholic suffering teaches us that although suffering in itself is not inherently good, God allows us to suffer for the good of our souls. Suffering refines us and helps us to get to heaven if we allow it. So, it is a way of purifying our souls. Aron ka makasunod nga to sa kingharian sa langit. Mga nanguban nga mga tao miyon nga mas maayo pa nga masasuffer ka dis kalibutan kundra sa tagaan ka og taas nga pagsakripisyo o perfection ngadto sa purgatorio mopitan ang uban po bingon kanabit ang mga tao nga magpinal no nagpinal nga mga mga tao no before sila mamatay na magpinal no kanang mosiro pagbot sa Ginoo ba magpinal ka dili kalibutan kay aron sa dili ka tagaan og taas nga pagsakripisyo ngadto sa purgatorio that is pag, pag refine sa imong kalag. So tulog ka punto the theology of the sufferings. First, 
is to awaken us to reality. Nga dapat kita nga mga tao magmata sa kamatuuran. Nga ang kamatuuran that man is nothing without God. Ang tao way gamit sa kalibutan kung way Dios ang iyang kinabuhi. Iba e magani ang atong Ginoo apart from me or depart from me and you can do nothing. Sometimes God allows sufferings in our order to awaken us to the effect of our sin, our impending death and judgment, our emptiness apart from God, or to help us repent and turn to God. Like the prodigal son, no? Ngan kini nga prodigal son, iyang gi kuha ang iyang kayamanan, inheritance, then mimbiya sa iyang amahan. Pero, nagi miserable ang iyang kinabuhi. Sometimes, gihapon, kita inana kita. No? Then we have to go back to our Father. We have to go back to our God. Spillness and sufferings have always been among the, gar- the gravest problems confronted in human life. In illness, man experiences his power- powerlessness, his limitations, and finitude. Every illness can make us glimpse of death. Illness can lead us to anguish, self-absorption, sometimes even despair, a revolt against God. It can also make a person more mature, helping him discern in his life what is not essential so that he can turn toward that which is. Very often, illness provokes and search for God a return to Him. So, kana ito pasakripisyo, kanina ito ang kasakitan, it is a way nga makaingon ta nga I am helpless o powerless so sanglit mo balik kita sa Ginoo no pagbalik pagpabalik ka na kanimo sa Dios secondly and suffering is to test us no pag testing sa to am pag tuo testing our faith to God remember job di ba Ug sa iba mga tao, remember Job. Jabban ta karon. Remember Job, no? Si Job, usa nga tao nga matarong, yet next siya og sakripisyo sa iyang kinabuhi. The test of Job is an example of test among the larger test that is the in this present life. These tests are opportunities for us to choose whom we will serve. They demonstrate whether we truly love God or whether we only <coughs> used God or whether sa kita mga tao pakitan tao no bingo day nga what my choice no no we have a choice we have to cho- we have a choice to love God or kanang imong gibuhat pakitan tao lamang may lang ka kanang buutan kay na mas simbahan buutan kay magmisa man unya day di magmisa unya day gawas simbahan gawas simbahan kinsa man ka no bati day batasan no sometimes we live in duplicity nga kinabuhi mayong tao kay naaman sa makit-an sa videos makit-an sa mga television but in real life bati day batasan Usahay, ang gido makatagat og suffering in order to test us. Pag-testing sa imong kinabuhi. Then thirdly, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, that suffering also will discipline us to teach us humility and trust and to work righteousness in us. So, kining ato ang mga disipulo. Mabit ang word nga disciple, giga ka na sa nga discipline, no? magdisiplin sa to ang kinabuhi. Mga itagaan kita o pagsakipiso sa kinabuhi in order to discipline us. But sometimes, ano, kita nga mga tao, mas, mas stricto pa ta. No? Mas stricto pa kita kontra sa ginoo. No? Kita mga tao. Mura o kita pa'y mas labaw pa kontra sa Diyos. Kaya nawag ta nga to ang maging compassionate to other persons, to other people, no? kay tungod sa pagdisiplina sa mga tao. According to Pope St. Pope John Paul II, suffering 
must serve for conversion, that is for a building of goodness in a subject who can recognize divine mercy in this call to repentance. So at pagskipisyos ng kinabuhi, it is also called conversion sa atong kinabuhi. So when you suffer, then pasalamat yung ginoo. Kaya yung pumasa sa kasantos ng utana siya. Nga to sa ginoo, Lord, nga naman no, yung imuhang mga ang kasagaran sa musunod ka nimo, magsakripisyo man. Ang ginoo may ingon, mo kini ang way nako sa pagigugma kanila. So if you have that sufferings, no, na kay, na kay problema, illnesses, na kasakitan sa mga kinabuhi, thank God, no? Pasalamat yan Diyos kay gugma ka sa atong ginoo. So three things about the sufferings, the theology of sufferings, to awaken us to reality, that man is nothing without God to test us, to test our faith, and lastly, to discipline ourselves. Sanglit man, kiningitanan, ingon na ginoo, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. Amen. God offers us His strength in times of, de- of need. Let us pray that we may always rely on Him. Let our response turn our mourning into joy, O Lord. Turn, turn our, our mourning into, into joy, joy, O Lord. O Lord. That the Church may give courageous witness and boldly proclaim Christ's message to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn Turn our our mourning into into joy, O Lord. That those who live in loneliness and despair may experience the comforting presence of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn Turn our our mourning mourning into into joy, joy, O Lord. Lord. That those who feel low or depressed may realize the true worth of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn Turn our our mourning into into joy, O Lord. 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 That in their weakness, the sick and the handicapped may discover the power of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn Turn our mourning into joy, O Lord. That those who have gone before us in faith may meet the Redeemer who suffered for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn Turn our mourning into joy, O Lord. In silence, let us pray for personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Turn, Turn our, our mourning into, into joy, O Lord. Lord. Father, full of goodness and love, look with mercy upon your people for their shortcomings. Sustain them in their trials and let your love come upon them. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we offer this bread and as we bring you this wine, bless them, Lord Jesus, be this now, give us life. Send us your Spirit, the source of our lives, and together we will serve you with love. Pray with your brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may conform to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation all, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, integrity of life restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of all, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willing into his passion. He took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new eternal covenant which be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body of blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, to your Francis, our Pope, in John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we merit to be co-earth to eternal life. I may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from our evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by hope your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said through apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not to our sins, but the faith to our church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour us into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass ascended. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.